Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca automation playlist and we are talking about the API testing. We have also seen a lot of different features which are available with the Tosca API scan. But until now, we have been only using the REST APIs. But as you know, there are different types of APIs which you can basically test and verify. And Tosca supports a lot of different APIs, right? So apart from REST APIs, uh, one of the most popular APIs, uh, as you know, would be SOAP API, right? So these are based on the uh, SOAP protocol and they use XML as uh, a communication channel between the server and the client, right? So we are going to look at how we can scan the SOAP APIs and how we can verify them or create test cases using the API scan and the commander, okay? So for this, I'm going to use an example which is available uh, with Tricentis um, and you can find it in their uh, API services web page, okay? So let me click on this URI so that we can scan a particular URI. It is already present uh, in my list. So as you can see, the first one, uh, webservice.toscacloud.com slash calculator.svc and this is a SOAP-based API, okay? So I can go ahead and scan this and it is going to basically create, uh, you can see different uh, folders, folder structure and the API structure for the calculator, right? So this API can be used to basically perform different types of calculations and it is a SOAP based protocol, okay? So um, if uh, we go here, you will see under calculator, um, there are different types of calculations like add, divide, multiply, subtract, right? And if I open one of these messages, you will see here, uh, this is the XML format, not uh, not the JSON format, okay? And that is what is being used for any SOAP based API, okay? So in this, you can basically do a add operation. Right? So I can put some number like 10 here and then 10 here, okay? And then I can just send the request. This is a post request type. This is the endpoint and this is the resource as you can see, right? So if I now send this request and you will see the response is coming back, uh, status code is 200 okay. And uh, it will be returning this payload, which is in, again in XML format and the result is 20, right? So in terms of uh, how you can scan a particular API, whether it is SOAP or REST, there is no difference. How you basically uh, perform the checks, that may be a little different because the payload format is a little different, right? So in case of REST, it may be in the JSON format, but in case of SOAP, it will be in the XML format, right? So that's the only difference you will see between a REST API and the SOAP API, okay? Rest of the things like scanning or basically creating test cases or verifying the results all remains exactly the same, okay? So now if I want to uh, create a API test case uh, on my Tosca commander, you know the process, right? So first select the API message, go to API test case, and there you will find API test case export. Now this time around, I'm going to show you a different way of doing this, right? So when we open the API scan from the Tosca commander, it can directly import this API message. But right now I haven't opened uh, the Tosca commander. I have used the standalone version of the API scan. So let me export this and let me show you how you can bring it back to Tosca commander. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and export this. As I said earlier, this will be saved as a, a subset. Okay. So it will be exported as a subset. So let's name it as calculator and let's save it here, okay? Now, um, let's open Tosca Commander. And now let's go to our project and there uh, we'll be basically importing the subset and then um, we will basically have the test case for that particular API message, which we are trying to verify or trying to create test cases from that, right? So this is our project and we can go to our API testing component folder, okay? 
and then um, inside this or I can even create another component folder just to make it uh, basically clear okay so let me call it soap API testing okay and now inside this I'm going to import my subset okay so we have to go to that particular location where this was uh, exported and I saved it under API this is the TSU okay and once you import that now you will see that uh, it has created a import folder right and inside that you will have your API scan so whatever you have scanned the modules that is cases exactly in the same format the only difference is you need to export and import if you have used the API scan as a standalone version not from Tosca commander okay so this is the difference now the rest of the process is still exactly the same right so this time around you need to select the notes uh, which you want to add or you want to add the response you can do that right so go ahead and click on add and it will add the status code we can also add the result because we want to verify that okay so these two uh, will add in the response and in the request we can basically add these two nodes because we can enter different um, input values right we don't just want one input value to to be just added uh, we want to make it basically a calculator which can take different inputs and give different output right so now um, if i go back to my test cases you can see uh, we have got just different uh, values which we can enter here in the request and in the response uh, we can basically uh, select any value so that we can verify it right so here it will be 200 okay and action mode would be verify and in the request what we can do is um, we can basically enter any particular value um, either 10 or i can either enter something else also right so it will give this a result but then how do we uh, verify this okay so to do that let's add some configuration parameters where we can store these values and then we can check whether the addition of these two values is equal in the response okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add some configuration parameters okay and let's go here and here is the test configuration parameter and i'm going to call it num1 and I'm going to give some value here and then num2 okay and then um, let's change this okay so what we are going to call this is CP num1 and cp num2 so this way you can basically configure your values and not pass static values all the time right so you can just change the configuration values and then uh, send this request okay now there are different ways of doing it i'm just showing you one way okay now go back to response and here uh, we are going to use some math calculation right to add these two numbers so uh, we are going to access that cp again num1 and then we are going to add this and again cp of num2 right and do take care of the start and end brackets okay just to make sure this is correct something seems to be wrong i forgot one curly brace okay okay so now uh, it looks correct so what it will do here is basically it will verify whether the output of whatever we are calculating using the math function is the same as the api response output right so let's go ahead and execute this now 
Okay, so run this in sketchbook and then it is going to verify whether it has correctly calculated the value using the API. Okay, so verification as I said earlier is very important no matter what you are testing either API or any type of application, right? So you have to verify what is being returned by that particular functionality which you are trying to test. So as you can see uh, in the result, the status code was verified and the add result was verified. If you want to look at what was verified, the expected value and the actual value, both are same. So the verification passed and that way we could verify that the response is actually what was expected, right? So this is how you can scan your SOAP APIs, you can create test cases and you can also verify the request and response of your SOAP API messages, right? So this can all be done in Tosca using the API scan and the Tosca commander. Similarly, you can also try this with all different types of APIs which are supported by Tosca. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today related to API testing and Tosca. Do tune into our channel to watch more such videos uh, in the coming up days. If you have not subscribed to our channel, don't forget to subscribe because you will get notified about each and every video which we add on Tosca so that you can continue learning this exciting new automation tool.